everyone. Today's story is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This story is about Rudolph. Rudolph is a reindeer who has a red nose. He is really special. The other reindeer laughed at him and made fun of him. But one day, Santa says he could glide his sleigh. So his shining nose shined in the way. So Santa can deliver the presents to the children. Let's read. The Story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Richard Edwards and Andy Cook. It was two days before Christmas and Santa's reindeer were out in the snow, stamping and snorting and stretching their legs before their long journey south. Let's have a race, called Dasher. A race? said Dancer excitedly. Come on, Prancer. Come on, Vixen and Comet and Cupid. Come on, Daughter and Blitzen. We're going to have a race. Can I join in? asked Rudolph, the youngest of the reindeer. You'd get left behind, said Dasher. You're too young, Rudolph. Perhaps next year. The other reindeer laughed, and Rudolph could only watch as they lined up and raced away making the ground shake with their thundering hooves. After the race, the reindeer decided to play a game of hide and seek. I'll count to a hundred, Dasher said. You all run and hide. Can I join in? asked Rudolph. You just get lost, said Dasher. You're too young, Rudolph. Perhaps next year. So Rudolph stood by the stable with Dasher, counted, and the other reindeer ran away to hide in the snowy hills. Later that evening, the reindeer were talking about the next day's journey with Santa to deliver all the Christmas presents. We'll go up faster than ever this year, said Dasher. I'll go in front. Then Dancer and Prancer and the rest of you behind. What about me? asked Rudolph. Where will I go? You just slow us down, said Dasher. You're too young, Rudolph. Perhaps next year. I'm not too young, said Rudolph. I'm as strong as you now and fat. Sorry, little red nose, said the others. So Rudolph, feeling miserable and unwanted, walked away into a corner of the stable and lay down to sleep. Early next morning, Santa pushed open the stable door. It's foggy out, he says. Time to get going. We mustn't be late. The sleigh was waiting outside, piled high with parcels. Rudolph watched through the window as Santa buckled the other reindeer into their harnesses. Almost ready, said Santa. The reindeer pawed the snow and jingled their bells, eager to be on their way. Wait a minute, Santa told them. We can't go yet. He turned towards the stable and whistled Come on, Rudolph. Rudolph skied it out of the stable and raced through the snow. It's time you can came with us, Rudolph, said Santa. You're old enough now, and that lovely red nose of yours can guide us through the fog. What do you say, Dasher? Dasher frowned, then he grinned and winked. All right, little red nose, let's see how far fast you are. In his polished collar and gleaming bell, Rudolph waited proudly at the front of the team as Santa climbed into the driving seat and picked up the reins. Up and up, Santa called. With a powerful leap, Rudolph took off from the frozen ground and with his nose shining brightly, he found 
his way safely through the fog, leading the sleigh full of presents south towards Christmas and all the sleeping children.